Welcome, everybody. This is the Athenor. This is a new podcast I'm doing with my good friends, Dylan and Sarcastic Warlock. And initially, we had sat down yesterday to record our first ever episode of the podcast, and immediately, YouTube would not allow me to upload the video. It was blocked from being watched by anyone. And mainly because the the film that we're we're looking at in the video and talking about and commenting on uh, was copyrighted. So I was not able to edit it down enough. I would lose too much of the actual podcast content. So I decided to put it onto my Dropbox and put it in the link in the description of this video, along with a link to the actual full length movie, which is available for free online. Uh, but YouTube has an issue with it, and there's a copyright out. This first episode, we were looking at the movie The Holy Mountain by Alejandro Jodorowsky from 1973. And I guess the whole point of the podcast is really unknown at this point <laughs> as to what it will be, what it will become. But I definitely wanted it to have certain elements, uh, elements of humor and levity, uh, but also you know, some deep dives on things within our own culture uh, that we can resonate with or that we can look at and extract wisdom from, if that's even possible, which I believe it is. And so we kind of get into that in with this movie, and it leads to a, a little bit broader discussion about certain cultural anomalies as well. But the links will be in the description below. This is just a quick introduction. Uh, I've been gone for a while, probably about four months. I haven't done a video. So it's been nice to get back. And I, I have a bunch of ideas of videos that I need to put stuff together for. And I've had the entire month of November off, been working outside, doing a lot of reading and just thinking about things. Getting ready to go back tomorrow to work on a different schedule. So not really going to be able to get outside as much. And I'm I'm hoping though that I will have plenty of time to devote to continue reading and researching because I've found this period of hibernation to be to be very helpful for myself and my own growth. So but I, I'm excited to get back to doing videos and uh, making this podcast with my with my good friends and just having a good time and putting something out there that's interesting that's funny uh and it's just not the same type of content uh that people in this community are used to so i don't know i mean maybe it is maybe everyone else is doing the same thing it's just something that i wanted to do that i felt needed to be done uh, because we take ourselves so seriously sometimes and you know i I've been getting a lot more into like the esoteric side of humor itself. So, you know, I, I've been trying to explore just having more levity in my life and more humor to balance out a lot of the things that I think about and that, you know, I talk about. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the first, uh, the first episode of the Athenor podcast. Also, I, I guess the, the name itself kind of came at the last minute um, this movie in particular has uh, it depicted a scene, and you'll see where they're doing this alchemy. But an athenor is a, an alchemical furnace, for those of you that don't know what it is. Um, and the basic difference is that it's slow burning, but it doesn't need any maintenance. So it continuously burns uh, at a steady heat. So I don't know. That's kind of what this movie to me there's a scene that represents it uh the idea of just us getting together and talking about things within the culture and trying to extrapolate any type of pattern and look at you know where's the wisdom in in what's happening in the world and the things within our culture that we we consider art so like this movie in particular was very contested at the time um, because of obviously there's nudity in the movie 
but the movie is just very absurdist or surrealist. And I think for 1973, there were ritualistic elements. There were absurd elements. There were just weird things that people couldn't quite grasp. So, you know, the movie itself was very symbolic in a way. So I don't think it was received by the masses, uh, but it became a cult classic. So people who loved cinema and art and expression and the esoteric, um, it certainly found a place, uh, had a following for this film. And he made several other films. I may look at those in future episodes, but, um, you know, each episode's going to be different. It's it's never going to be about the same thing over and over again. But anyway, I hope that you all enjoy this this first attempt. And I'll be doing some other content just by myself uh, coming out very soon. <laughs>